Mr. Nguyen. Number 9. In cell M2, enter a formula using a nested if function. Nested if function means having one if statement nested within or inside another if statement. So there are two tests. If Adam has leadership training indicated by a yes here in this cell, then say completed. If not, go on to the second test, a second if statement. When service years is greater than one, then say yes. Otherwise, say no. Let's go to the formula. Type equal sign if, press the tab key, the first test, leadership training. So I2. We see a special syntax, a structured reference, because this cell is part of an Excel table. Next type equal, yes in quotation mark, comma, completed, comma. At this point, the formula says if leadership training is yes, then say completed. Otherwise, go on to the second test. So type if, tab key, service years, cell D2, greater than one, then return the text yes. Otherwise, say no. Close parentheses, and we'll need another close parentheses. So let's examine the formula. If leadership training is yes, then say completed. If not, do a second test. Then if the service years is more than one, say yes, otherwise say no. Press the enter key. The column autofills, let's do a check. Ari, cell M3 has completed training. That's because in cell I3 shows that he has completed leadership training as indicated by a yes right here. So that is part of the first test. Leadership training is yes, then show completed. This one didn't go to the second test. We'll see the second test on the Bo Peterson. If leadership training is yes, then say completed. In this case, Bo did not complete the leadership training as indicated shown by a no right here. Then it moves on to the second test. If leadership or service use is more than one, he has seven, so that's why it returns a yes. And we see that right here. Bo is a candidate for leadership training.